Max Payne 2 Short Game Review. Following the events of the first one, everyone changes their appearance somewhat, and Max rejoins the NYPD. He comes across the so-called cleaners and meets Mona Sachs again. And it gets interesting from there. This one is more noir in the overall story. Among other things, it takes some chronological jumps and there are more twists and turns. It's a more complicated story than in the first one. The chronological jumps along with several different kinds of levels and a less rigid story structure keep this much more fresh and much less repetitive than the first game. Not only are you, you know, engaging in a lot of shootouts, you also sometimes have to protect an NPC and you know there are various different kinds. The game is again really short, 8 to 10 hours. Other than that, there are, you know, there are three, I think, difficulty settings, and the last one, the hardest one, unlocks a, an alternate ending. And then there is this other mode, uh, Dead Man Walking, I believe it's called, where basically you're just, you know, fighting for your life. There are constantly AI-run NPCs spawning, and you have to take them out and, you know, stay alive for as long as you possibly can. And that's a lot of fun. The characters are changed somewhat, and some really won't like the directions that they've taken them in. And there's also some more silliness added to the tone, although the atmosphere is still very much noir. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.